Its mission is simple. It's to secure the effective control and management of major hazard risk, to prevent major accidents and to mitigate any that might occur. The sorts of things that we're in the business of preventing are the Bhopals of this world, thousands of people dying in India through a chemical release in the 80s. We're interested in preventing the Piper Alphas, 167 people dying offshore in the 1980s. More recently, the Texas City refinery disaster, which killed 15, and more latterly, the Buntsfield explosion in this country, the largest peacetime explosion in Europe. These are the sorts of events that kill people, that harm society. That's what we're in the business of stopping. We work in a complex environment. We work with sophisticated organisations using complex processes and advanced technology. We need in that environment to be credible and to be authoritative. We need expertise at our disposal which can carry off those functions and that is absolutely vital to us achieving our mission. The role of the specialist inspector is varied across the organisation and in HID. They provide advice, influence and persuade organisations, associations, etc. But there's a hard edge to it as well. We rely on our specialist inspectors to provide advice to duty holders on how they control their risks, to assess their safety cases and safety reports and provide inputs to the inspection process. We also expect them to have a harder edge because we rely on them for the evidence to support enforcement action because it's not in all circumstances that our advice is welcome. So we need that edge to it as well. We also rely on our specialists to commission research to identify gaps in our knowledge that we need to plug and then pass on that new knowledge to occupiers, to duty holders and to our inspectors to help them do a job more effectively. The HSC is an employer. Well, the first thing, it's a world-renowned organisation. It has a huge amount of technical, scientific and engineering knowledge which is very widely recognised. And it has that broad community of engineering and scientific knowledge within it which people can tap into so they can create networks, they can develop themselves within their job, they can learn new skills and they can be part of a solution and that solution is to stop people being killed and injured at work and that's a worthwhile mission and they can actually have a career here and say that they were part of that delivery of saving lives. That's strong stuff.